Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to, to the 5th of December and to my December daily. So this is what we've done yesterday, kept it nice and simple, we've just got a pocket and a bit of stamping and this quadruple foldy tag um, that we made. Right, however, oh actually I'll keep that out so that I can have a flat surface which ain't there. Bled through. Remember, I went in first with red, and then I decided, oh, no, it's not dark enough. The red was running low. Um, it was only a cheap one, I've had it for years, so it wasn't no surprise. And then I went in with the brown a couple of times to get what I got. All bled through, right? So I'm not happy with that. So what I thought was, I'll take this lovely bit of parchment that I've got. Let's be inking around it now. I'll pop this to one side. And, um, yeah, take this lovely piece of parchment. I'm going to ink around it. And, um, yeah, once I've inked, I'm going to do some sewing. I'm going to go around and stitch all around. And I ain't got to worry about the other side because it's going to be stuck down to cover up the little bleed through that we had here. So, yeah, if anything like that happens to you or you spill something on a page or it just goes wrong, just cover it up. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it really um, ain't no drama. It ain't nothing to get stressed over. I'll just do both sides just in case. I get over there when I stitch on the wrong side or I decide I want it a different way up but yeah I'm going to um, have a little sew and then yeah we can make it all lovely but what I was going to say was I will be keeping it short and sweet I'm going to keep it nice and simple I've not felt my best, to be fair, today. I've been snoozing and that. My folk don't feel as bad, but as you can probably tell, it's still not m my normal voice, is it? So, um, and it does keep on and off croaking like a little um, foggy. And so, um, yeah, I thought I'd keep it nice and simple and that. And... The reason I want to, and instead of just skipping a day and thinking, oh, I'll do it tomorrow or whatever, is that you can, I just wanted to demonstrate that you can keep it really short and sweet or really simple and still create something that looks like you've been creative that day, you know. I don't know how it's going to come out. I've got an idea in my head. And so we'll have to see how it goes. But stick with me. It's not going to be a long one today. But I'm sure we can simply and quickly create something that we can be proud of. Right, so I'm quite happy with how that's come out. I've done little bits of zigzag and straight and mixed it up and that. And um, oh, I like that side as well, the back stitch. It, um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm not sure what side I want to use now. Whether I want to use the back stitch. Oh no, stick with this side. Right, so that is going to stick on there like that. Um, yeah, I'll have it like that. And then little bits can just poke out of that top corner. Um, should I stick it on right now? No, because I think it might be cool to have a couple of things coming out from underneath. Um, let's see. I did get out a couple of these and I thought maybe overlapping maybe all the smaller parts. Maybe a bit, a bigger bit down somewhere. Um, I'm not sure now whether I want to stitch that on, I'm thinking, down here. That might look quite cool. 
Oh no, no, I'm not going to because I'll start messing around again with the same sheet and I'll mess it up. Right, I'm just going to take a couple of things out of the pocket. Oh, I have got a board um, that I normally work on. When I'm doing stuff in these, like writing out my lists, I have this board that I made ages go out, book board, and just covered it. And um, <laughs> it's the, the same stamp I used yesterday. <laughs> Right, now actually, now I've took the things out of the pocket, there's, I don't need to do that. Oh, do I want them towels coming out the bottom? They're not very long. Yeah, I'll have it like that. Right. And, <laughs> I do apologise, that's Levi, by the way, making that noise. Um, my oldest used to do it, I've never known any other baby that does it, sing themselves to sleep by just making like really monotone kind of little noises but quite loud, not little noises, quite loud noises but like my oldest used to go uh, 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 and get, it would get higher pitched but never really high, it was quite low especially for like a tiny little girl to be able to create these noises and she'd do that and all of a sudden it'd, it'd be getting louder each time uh, uh, and then all of a sudden it'd stop dead and she'd be asleep and the first time when my mum and dad looked after her oh, me and their dad was going out somewhere and um, it was the first time I'd left her and they rung me up and went She's making this weird noise in the cot. She doesn't seem hot. She's not this, she's not that. I went, oh no, that's a, a sleep song. And they was like, what? And I said, don't all babies do that? <laughs> and they said, no, all babies don't do that. It was quite odd. Because um, she was my first, I didn't know. But yeah, Levi does it. She's the only one of mine that's done it. And he don't do it all the time, but yeah, some nights he wants to sing himself to sleep. <laughs> right, so like I said, I've got a couple of these. I think I'll use one big one and a couple of smaller ones because they're flowers, obviously, but they kind of give you that wintery, snowflakey kind of feel. I'm just looking what way's the right way up. That's the right way up. Right, yeah, I think I'm going to have them like that, so we'll get the other glue. Anyway, yeah, how rude of me, I haven't asked, how are you all? Are you all alright? Is December proving stressful, or have you got it all, got a lid on it all, got it all under control? We're um, pretty bored here, even though we all feel a little under the weather. I'd be amazed if this test comes back positive. It arrived today and so my son done it. Um, we won't have one, um, like they won't give us one unless his one is positive. So they obviously think that you don't just get carriers um, because otherwise I'm sure they would have tested us all. But yeah, we've got to self-isolate um, until we get a negative result or for two weeks, whichever is longest. Um, and so, yeah, we're um, all in isolation, can't go nowhere, which is a bit annoying because it was literally, wasn't it, the day after lockdown finished. And I said, on the day that it finished, I've been saying it for a couple of weeks to my daughter, right, like, we'd go out that Wednesday and we'd just grab some bits and pieces like more food stuff and that, all the non-perishables, all the freezables. No, no, it'd be manic, we'll wait, we'll go the next day. And then obviously the next day none of us could go nowhere because of this COVID thing. So, here we are. So yeah, it's a bit boring really, I ain't really got much to journal about. And um, I've had two naps today as well, just keep falling asleep. Right, what I thought I wanted to do is make some really little envelopes, because I ain't got much to journal about. I'm thinking this is looking really nice already. So, I've got paper, and because I've got brain like a sieve, I've written on here. Let me grab the envelope punch board. 
right they are three and a quarter uh, three and three quarters by three and three quarters and my punch board don't go down that low of paper sizes so i've had to work it out myself and i scored at one and three quarters to get um what i wanted so i'm thinking because the paper's quite thin they don't um, cut very well in here, so it's better if you do them at the same time. Right, so one and three quarter was my, my first punch. Oh, maybe that's a bit too thick. I'll just do two. Right, so I was at one and three quarters when I... And then... That's better. I'll put something under the other one. And punch and oh, <laughs> punch and spawn. And, and and score. Right, so there we've got our nice thingies. Hopefully this will did I This will, sorry, I completely stopped. I mean, hopefully this will punch through, but it is doing it. This paper must be a bit thicker than the, the one I trialled it with when I tried to work out where to punch and score. And so now, we've got our nice little envelopes. And uh, what I want to do is just cut a little bit of cardstock or paper or something to go in each one and have them stuck down the page, decorating the page. So I'll just make them all nice. And um, yeah, I think it'll fill up the page where I didn't really have a lot to fill it with journaling wise because I've not done nothing and yeah it would be quite boring so I thought I'd try and make it interesting and it'll look really good but I haven't got a journal I haven't got much space to fill with me writing because I ain't really got much to say um, about anything so right, that's the last bit and these tops let's get them all together um, oh, now that noise is, is the neighbourhood kids playing out just knit that bit off the top of each one and ink and um, yeah I'm just going to stagger them down the page and I think they'll look quite nice oh. Sorry, I just had to pause. He's not doing his sleeping song now. Now he's crying. <laughs> and she just come out here to get his little bits and bobs. Oh. Oh, bless him. Uh, hopefully. He'll have his little bottle with a minute and he'll go asleep. He was almost asleep though. That's when he does this the um little singy bit that he's inherited from his auntie. <laughs> Cause yeah, that one who used to do that ain't even his mum. 
it's his aunt. <laughs> his mum's my youngest and she was my oldest. Who used to do that funny little noise. Bless her. She um she she was like um she she used to come out with really unusual things as well. One day, um, she just looked at me and she said, Mummy, there's a boy in my heart and he's dancing in the sunshine. And, um, like, she was three years old. And I know that she was that because she said it to me in the um, kitchen of my flat. And um, we moved out of there just before she was four. And yeah, it was just one day while her dad was at work, she said that, and I thought, how oh, unusual. And I'm like, their dad got in from work with his best friend, and I was telling them, and um, his friend went, I don't know why, he said, but that's made me feel quite emotional. He said, that I and like, we were really young parents, and really young mates, and he went, that's made me feel quite emotional. He said, my eyes have welled up. He said, and I can't explain why, which was odd as well. But yeah, she used to come out with little things like that. She was very serious. And then when I had her brother, even though she was shy, not with me, obviously, I'm my mum, she wasn't shy, but outside of the house, she was shy. But, um... She used to talk for him, and he, he, he hardly used to say a word. And, um, yes, even though she was quite quiet herself, especially out of the home, yeah, she'd talk for him when um, anyone asked anything, even people that she was shy of, if he, if he needed anything or, or that. Yeah, she um, would tell me. And um, she'd even tell me things before before he did sort of thing like when he was really little just before he would start to cry she'd say I think Joshua was hungry and with that he would start crying for the bottle and it was really weird the things <laughs> that used to happen bless her very empathic I think and yeah that was why when she trained as a nurse I thought it was just the most fitting thing for her and then when she became a parent, how uh, um, uh, good she would be at that. Because, yeah, she is a very empathic soul, that one. Right. There's my little envelopes all done. So, pop them back. I thought we could have them sort of staggered, maybe one there like that and then there and there and I'm quite happy with how that looks so let's get them stuck together oh Pop it underneath to hold it um, underneath the little glass um, thingy, board, chopping board, just to hold that flat down so that I can speed through my, right. and I just like to get rid of that globby knob of glue on the top right so I wanted that one in the middle and the different greens and oh actually yeah I want them a bit overlapping the one above like that I'm just thinking if I want anything, I don't think I do want anything else, um, I think I'm quite happy with it like that, right, and then all I need to do is cut 
the little bit of paper or cardstock, whatever it is, that I'm going to have in here. Right. One. Just a tiny bit overlapping. And then this one. And I'm going to pop that a little bit more overlapping so that we can see the lovely flowers. Right. And I think that looks very festive indeed. There he goes again. He must have had his little bottle. Right. What I need to do, I've got out this cutter because I've got some off cuts of cardstock and then I've got this paper. So I wanna where's the pencil? Here it is. I just need to see where I need to cut. Right, we'll try that. We want to go on a straight. Right, that's straight cut. And we'll see if this, if I've cut, if it's right, if it fits. And if it does, we'll probably just use that as the guide. You know, it won't look very straight. And it must have been, because I'm not on a flat surface, isn't it? And I'm going to cut off the wonky end because I messed it up a bit now. Does that fit? Yeah, that fits perfect. So we'll use that roughly as a guide, but I'm going to trim where I went on the wonk. Right. It don't have to be perfect. Um, my, so that's one, this one, I don't need to take much off of that at all. Oh, it does cut wonky though, even though that's supposed to be the straight edge. When it first comes out, it's the first bit. Oh, and that's the other annoying thing with this, that that middle bit, it don't lift, it's not on a swinging arm, it don't, no. that is a bit little but it, I'm sure it'll be fine. Like I said, I've not got much to turn for that. Oh dear. Yeah, they're all slightly different but they all fit. So... That, um, that's so good. Right, so I want a squealy edge, like I've torn it, which they all are pretty much, but that one, where, it, where it's small, I wanted the small squiggles, so that's what we got. Right. And then if I go about there, pop that there in a sec, and then we can just chop off our little tiny bits to, that we want to journal on. Oh, they are very little, aren't they? What am I? <laughs> Oh dear, they are really small, but right. Yep, I'm sure they're going to be fine. And um, <coughs> oh, do excuse me. Um, ah, we just need to get them inked, and then we'll see what fits where. 
but they're perfect for these little teeny tiny four I want these I'm gonna round the corners. They're not particularly straight or that. They're just little teeny tiny journaling cards that I can just fit maybe a sentence on each. Maybe two sentences if I write really small. I don't know why I was holding my hand right over there. I do apologise if I was completely off camera. For some reason, I'll just have me arms <laughs> outstretched like a crazy woman while I'm, I was doing the corners. And I really don't know why. <laughs> I think I sometimes do things like that. Oops. And, yeah, I've, I, I, I only realise halfway through that I'm doing it. <laughs> But, yeah, I was only corner chomping, so it, um, it don't matter, does it? Right, in this one. Um, right. I mean, if I did have more to say, I could tear um, three more pieces and make these double-sided. If I really needed to. But like I said, I've had three naps today. I doubt that I need them double sided to be fair. Right, let's grab my book that I glue stick on. Right, and we want to work out. Oh, <laughs> I only inked around one of them. And I've got three bits to do. Not one. And that looks like it fit on there. Oh no, I'm gonna take that to that one because this that one's the thinner of the three, and this has got a loose bit. That's it. There we are. Right, so that one should fit on there, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we didn't do too bad, did we? So, let's put that there. And just... Number one, done. Let's come over a bit away from where I just glued the first one. The second one. Perfect. And our third and final one. And I know they are all slightly different sizes, but I tried this largest one and it fitted. So, I know I ain't got to worry about the other two because they're both smaller. This is the, this is the larger of the three, even though it's Diddy. Right. Okay, so, we can pop that in there. That's it, and it shuts nicely. I'm going to do the next one in there. And the final one in here. And like I said, I could double side if I wanted to. I could also um, stick another thing in. There's plenty of room in these envelopes to have another journaling card if I wanted to. Now, I don't want the flaps popping up. But I'm not sure I could put something there to tuck them in like I did with the heart that I showed you. Um, that 
I could do a closure like that. Um, I haven't got anything little though. I've got little circles. Ah, oh, I could cut them out. They would look like ball balls. Let me grab them. Right, so I've got this little tiny circle. So on the um, this one that's predominantly red, I shall do a green ball ball. And on the ones that are green, we'll have red ball balls. And they're so little that I could get right in between where Olivia cut her stab heads. And we're really not using any paper, any card at all, really. Right. They do shed glitter, those pages, but I love them. Right. So I'll ink around the edges very carefully. Just to get rid of that white. Oh, they're so little and fiddly. But they're just the right size. No. If I stick it there at the bottom half and the top can have it have the little um, flap tuck in. So not gonna lie though, they are fiddly. Right, that's done. And this one. Just wanting to get rid of the white. I'm getting more ink on me than I am on the ball balls. But it's no matter. Right. So at the very bottom there. Um, I'm going to glue my ball ball. I'll hold it. No, I'll just glue it. Oh, where's the green one? Oh, I don't want a lot of glue. Green one. Right, where's the bottom that I've put the glue on? No. There. Let's get that out. And then the third and final one. And that will go there. Pop that out for now. And then I'm sure that top one's probably dry by now. And that is the old shut by the Christmas ball ball. And yeah, we've got three Christmas ball ball closures on our envelopes. And the smallest journaling spaces in the world ever. But <laughs> when you ain't done nothing all day hardly, there's just the ticket. So loves, that is it from me today. There's really no more to say or do, is there? It, um, I promise, I told you at the beginning it was going to be short and sweet, but can't deny that is nice and Christmassy, isn't it? So it just goes to show, like I said at the beginning, you don't have to spend hours and hours sorting out your journal if you don't feel up to it or you're tired or if you've just got a really busy day let's face it it's december most of us are either mums some of us are, are nanas quite a lot of us are and that and um we're busy december's our month and it where we have to step up a notch even those of us like me, I'm disabled. Like, you have to up your game. It's December. You're going to be cooking the most important dinner of the year, most of you, you know. Um, so we're busy. We're shopping. We're organising. We're working out our timetable and that. Um, so, yeah, don't think you've got to spend hours a day working on your journal. Boom, it's done. All right? So... <laughs> I hope you liked that. I really do appreciate you joining me every day. I really do. It really is important to me. And, um, yeah, I'm having loads of fun. I'm determined that I'm going to keep at it, for better or for worse. So, yeah, you'll join me again tomorrow, please. I love you loads. And I appreciate every single one of you. Bye for now, my darlings. Talk to you soon. Love ya.